Legislators made state history yesterday by overwhelming voting to expel a member for disorderly behavior. That's after surveillance video showed Representative Mike Nierman letting armed protesters into the state capitol back in December. Our Lindsay Nadrick spoke to a Polk County Commissioner about what happens next and whether Nierman could actually get that seat back. Well, county commissioners now have 30 days to fill that vacant seat. And I did learn today, representative, former representative Mike Nierman may not be out of the mix. Representative Mike Nierman was expelled by a vote of 59 to 1. And that one vote came from Nierman himself. Every other House member, Democrat and Republican, voted yes in favor of the expulsion. I direct the chief clerk to notify the Secretary of State that House District 23 is vacant. Security camera video shows Nierman letting protesters into the Capitol on December 21st, 2020. He's also one of 11 people facing criminal charges for the breach. At yesterday's expulsion hearing, Nierman testified, saying, expelling me won't make this place safer. So what happens to his vacant seat? County commissioners have 30 days to appoint someone. Polk County Board of Commissioners Chairman Craig Pope will help lead this process and told me Nierman could get his job back. I think that it's important to note that um, the expelled representative has the opportunity to have his name put back in the mix uh, for consideration. And I have been told that there is an opportunity, there's a likelihood that that may happen. Commissioner Pope says the Oregon Republican Party State Committee will put forward three to five names for consideration as finalists for the vacant seat. Those names will then be voted on by commissioners from Marion, Yamhill, Benton, and Polk counties. I'm ready for this to happen. Uh, you know, it's this has been a sad and, and difficult process. Um, House District 23 needs a representative. Whoever is chosen will fill the seat for the remainder of the term. But as of now, Commissioner Pope had no idea who's being considered. Well, I should also note under state law, Nierman can run for re-election in 2022. I did reach out to him today to find out what his plans are, but I have yet to hear back. When I asked Commissioner Pope what people in Nierman's district think about the expulsion, he said opinions are split 50-50. Reporting live, I'm Lindsay Natterich, Point Six News.